Glory to God, what are you living for? Were you able to sit down and write down what you're living for? Especially for those who don't know what they are living for. Did you do it? We're hoping you did. If you did not, stop this recording and sit down and write down what am I living for? You can only enjoy and be as productive in this life. Be focused, be diligent to the point where your name becomes great, to the point where daddy makes your name great, as to the extent to which you know the purpose for which you were created and you begin to live this purpose. Amen. Now, we want to transition and, and go back to something we talked about uh, last week. We said Abraham's name was made great. And we also talked about Nelson Mandela and Barack, President Barack, President Nelson Mandela and President Barack Obama. Why did we bring these two names um, almost like they are side by side, equal with um, uh, uh, um, Ness, uh, with with Abraham. The reason is simple. These are great names. These are names if you call anywhere in the world, somebody will know. Somebody will identify with. They invested in their names. All of them, three of them, they invested in their names. But there's something I want you to see this morning. The name of those in the world, those that um, are not with the Father, is that they followed the principles of greatness and their names became great. They did what is required for a name to be great and then their names were what? Great. But in Abraham's case, he did what was required from a place of promise and daddy did what made his name great. Now what are we saying? Abraham's name was made great because he believed in the promise. His name was made great because he was given an assignment and he did it. These two other people, they believed in a cause. They believed in an assignment. They believed, they had a belief, they had a focus. And they, they followed it to the point where the Bible says, see a man diligent. It didn't say see a Christian diligent. Because most of the time, as Christians or children of God, kingdom people, we think that because we are in the kingdom, diligence is not something we should do. Faithfulness is required for everyone that wants to call themselves a servant. If you want this name change we're talking about, this investment in your name, you must be diligent. Yes, you can be diligent because you have a particular cost, a particular invention. You have a particular direction. You have a particular name. You want to be called after you, you're not here or even while you're here until you exit. You need to understand that you have to invest. You have to be diligent. You discipline yourself. You will not be like everyone else and be distinguished. It's not possible. You cannot attend every party and drink every wine and dance every dance. Please don't take this to anyone. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Don't take it to your husband. Don't take it to your wife. I'm talking to you. You cannot just be anyone, be casual and become great. No, that's not what Barack, President Barack Obama did. That's not what Nelson Mandela did. That's not what our father Abraham did. Abraham had a word. He believed the word and he followed that word to the point where God made him great. He followed the principle. He got a cherry on top because daddy made him great. What are we saying to you this morning? The father can make your name great. If you will only allow him to make it great, how will you allow him? You will decide from today and say my destiny, my direction in life, the way I want to live. I am not going to be a mediocre. I am not going to hang among people that are not going anywhere. I'm going to be persistent. I'm going to have great company around me. I'm going to choose the people I relate with. I'm not just going to talk with everyone on the phone. I won't, att I won't attend every and any party in town. I will not just go to church and be another Christian sitting on the benches. I will go there to be a blessing. I will go there to be a blessing to my pastor. I will go there to be a blessing to the Christians around me. Yes, let people call you names, but know what you are doing we said yesterday you have to do what leave with the mindset of you have a focus leave answering the question what am i living for when you have answered that question when you have an answer to that question 
Listen, don't listen to distractions. I'm so grateful that it spoke to us, taught us, exposed the deceitfulness of distraction when you are living a great life, when you have a destiny in God. What are we saying today as you are deciding to be to follow to be the next name the great name to be the name uh, in which that is going to invest in your generation know for sure that some people went ahead of you and they did it abraham did it uh, uh president nelson mandela did it president barack obama did it they were what diligent in their assignment they were focused and what happened their name became great that he invested in their name that he caused their names to be great he can do it for you yes that he caused abraham's name to be great by making his name great but that he caused that he permitted nelson mandela's name to be great because of his tenacity and focus the same with barack obama he wants to do it with you are you going to take this word and choose to stay with him if you do that's all for you your name will be remembered for greatness. Your name will be great that you will invest in your name and people will call you blessed because you have decided to align yourself and do that which is required for your name to be great. Amen. Receive the grace to invest in your name and cause your generation to be known because of you. In Jesus name. Amen and amen.